TNA Wrestling is making a return and there's a lot of big things that I think could be done to make sure that the TNA Wrestling reboot is actually successful because there's a lot going on and everybody's talking about it and all eyeballs are going to be on TNA Wrestling and if they don't get it right the first time people are going to be upset. So first and foremost the first thing that I would do with TNA Wrestling is mess with the branding. They do have the old TNA logo but there's something off about it. I don't know if it's the yellow. I think it's the yellow and then the impact whatever they chose for their impact logo. I just there's something there's something not right about it and I think I know what it is when I put that logo side by side with the old TNA Impact logo uh yeah that logo that the old one is miles and miles and miles above the current branding that they have in TNA for the uh, reboot that they're doing so I don't actually like that branding that the logo I think they should go back either just go back to the old one I like the one that had the like break apart thing with the A I think it had like a bullet hole in it kind of thing and then it was breaking apart like an impact you know that was really cool uh but i don't think their branding right now is very strong i think yeah they do have tna logo but it just feels off there's just something off about it maybe there needs to be more separation with the letters and then the backdrop or something i don't know just look at the old logo then look at the current logo and they're just miles ahead of it. So I would do that. As far as branding goes as well, another thing is just the overall branding of the show as far as the production standpoint goes. I would up the production to make it on par with WWE or AEW if they could. Um, make sure the audio sounds great with the with the fans and make sure the audio sounds great with the commentator. Make sure that uh, it looks somewhat nostalgic to the old TNA, but also updated and modern to what wrestling is today i love the tunnel entrance it's always one of my favorite entrances is the tunnel entrance in tna wrestling where they had the camera behind it and they did all these cool things they had a crane where they'd get a cool shot with that so make sure you can relive some of those old production tricks that you had and even like the intros and all that with the voiceovers and uh, just creating that movement and that feel with that production because there was a production yes but when you have like a movement put into it it was like this feels like a brand the branding is on point like when they were doing Wrestling Matters here, that kind of branding. They've always had a lot of branding there, but when the Cross the Line branding, that is the one that I'm thinking of. I said Wrestling Matters here, but I think that was more Impact Wrestling. But the Cross the Line branding, not that it was strong, greatest of all time, but it was very, very good. I really thought that the aesthetic fit, it was like a whole presentation. Everything just felt like its own thing. And sometimes I feel like in Impact Wrestling, that kind of got lost. But here, I think that would be great. They, they obviously have some great graphics people because I've seen some of their stuff they have now. Coming back, rebooting TNA, get that whole production, that branding, all that stuff, put that all together and that'll be great. Another thing that I would do is make sure that the legends are focused. We talked about pandering, do TNA and the nostalgia factor. Get a lot of legends. I think having legends on your roster help build up that brand. You don't have to make them the main focus of the show, but the way you use a legend is you put him with a guy you want to build up to be the future, whether it's a program against him or having to manage him, whatever it may be. Get some of those people from the old TNA. I don't know who they've got because a lot of them went to WWE or AEW. So who knows who they can actually get if they can get some of those legends that were huge in the past, that would be great for them. Like TNA was cooking it with the main event mafia. If you get any one of those guys, I think you'd be awesome for that. So get some of those legends in there to say, okay, this is the future of this business and take a look at them right here. And I think they could do that because that was something that set TNA apart. They had the really good wrestling, but they also had the legends and all that together made it awesome. Another thing that I've seen from a lot of people is the X Division. X Division, X Division, X Division. Huge part of TNA wrestling. You think of that. You think of the six-sided ring, the X Division. I guess they're not doing the six-sided ring. Who knows? But having the X Division be a main focus definitely needs to be right there in their company. And how can you do that in the modern style of wrestling? Well, you got to develop a house style of wrestling that TNA will be known for. The X Division could be that house style that is going to set them apart and make them feel like they're a little bit different. Now, they do have a lot of really good wrestlers on their roster, and they do have a lot of high flyer kind of guys that you can have those kind of crazy matches and that fits right in with the X division. I do think somebody had suggested in my comments and I said, I do think that's a great idea. They said, what if you kind of grounded the other divisions? Like the, the uh, main event division was more grounded. And I said, how would you do that? Oh, I guess you could just take 
a lot of more mat wrestling and more pure wrestling uh, versus a high flying fast pace type style. But also the way wrestling is now, you have that hard hitting fast pace style. So there can definitely be a house style where it's like fast pace, high flying, uh, in your face type style, beating each other up, that kind of stuff, the X division, but whatever you want to make it, you just have to make it feel important and you have to make it feel special, make it feel a little bit different than what the rest of the product is. So if you're going to continue with the X division and you want it to be as successful as it was, you have to make it feel a little bit different than that main event scene. And if you could do that, that would be perfect for them. I don't know how they're going to accomplish that, but that's just something that they need to figure out. And that's what they're going to do. The other thing is the other divisions. I really do think that they have to have those strong four divisions that we talk about. They have the X division. They have the knockouts division. They have the tag division. And then they have the main event scene. And that's definitely all the divisions that will help put that company on the map. Because if you make each one of them feel special, like I said, X division needs to feel special. Tag team matches need to feel special. The knockouts division needs to feel special. And the main event scene needs to feel special. The main event scene will have a little bit more star power in it and there'll be a guy that's going to be like the face of the company would be the champion i don't know who you're going to do get will osprey make him the face of the company if you can do that take mike bailey to the moon make him the face of the company i don't know but if you're going to do that you got to get the you know the star power of the people that are going to put butts in the seats right now and if you're going to do that put somebody that has a little bit more star power in that then you have the knockouts division you get somebody that's going to have star power in that tag team you get one of the best tag teams in the world you have star power there and then you do stuff with the X division to make it feel special. And you get that all together into a really good package with really good branding and give you that TNA feel. You're going to go, wow, this is awesome. This is great. This isn't just a show that's putting on matches on every day on TV. This is do matches. They're, they're doing it because it serves a purpose to the overall brand of the company. You have to think of it as an overall brand of the company. Yes, you do have some matches here, some matches there, but they all got to lead into this full encapsulating part of the entire show. You have to put it all together into a nice little package, present it and make it feel like it's a show. It can't just be matches and then stuff's going on and whatever. There's sometimes there's this, sometimes no, you need to make it feel like an overall presentation. TNA did a really good job with that in the old days when they were trying to run on spike TV, they had a full presentation of what they were doing and it worked for them. So if they could do that again, where it was just like, You have all these talent, but they all feel like they fit in on this show. It's got a brand. It's got an identity. It feels like it all gels together and it's all one encapsulating and everything feels like it belongs in that that show. It all feels like it's part of one huge show. And if they could do that, that's really going to set them apart. That's really going to make them feel, okay, TNA is back. They are here. They're doing it. For a lot of years, I've heard people saying, Impact Wrestling is cooking. You got to see it. They've got, they're have they cooking. Watch them. I'm telling you, they got some good stuff going on over there. And I go, yeah, they do. They do have some good stuff going on over there, but it's the overall package of it. It's the Impact Wrestling brand is tarnished. TNA Wrestling is coming back. They can put it all together into a nice package that they can sell to the people that are watching. And if they can do that, then people are going to buy into it and they're going to want to see it. That's what I would love to see. I'd also love for them to put everything on Impact Plus. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to do that. Some of it goes on Fight. Some of it goes on Impact. I think some of it even goes on Pay-Per-View. They just put it all on Impact Plus. I'd love that. TNA Wrestling on Impact Plus. I'd watch all of it. Put it all on there. Make me tune into that and I'll watch. I'll pay my money and I'll watch it every week. There you go. Anyway, guys, I need to know your thoughts about this. What are you going to do if you brought back TNA? If you were in charge of the reboot of TNA, how are you going to make sure it succeeds? Make sure you let me know in the comment section below. And as always, I'm Tony Beats Guy. We will see you in another video.